In this video, I want to talk about uploading your FileMaker files to your FileMaker cloud server. Now in other videos, we've walked through the process of purchasing and setup of a FileMaker cloud server. So at this point, we're going to assume that you've done that yourself or maybe you worked with a consultant to help you do that and now you're up and running and you're ready to go. So how do you upload a file to the FileMaker cloud server? Well, it's pretty straightforward. First off, I've downloaded a copy of FM Starting Point here and I've customized it for my company, which is Roadrunner Trucking. So we have Roadrunner Trucking here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this a Roadrunner, Roadrunner CRM. And so that's the name of our FileMaker file. And of course, since I'm the Roadrunner Trucking Company, I have our own Roadrunner Trucking instance. So we're going to park this up on our own FileMaker Cloud virtual server or instance, as Amazon likes to refer to it. So I have opened it up. I'm taking a look at it. To begin the upload process, the easiest way is just to click right here to show the status toolbar up here at the top. And this will appear right here. And then you press the share button right here. And you say share with a FileMaker server. Now, once again, FileMaker Cloud is a FileMaker server. So if you hear me refer to FileMaker server, I'm only talking about the FileMaker Cloud for the duration of this video. So I'm gonna say upload to FileMaker server. It's gonna say, hey, I haven't put any passwords in. And of course, a lot of people do this. They get going with FileMaker and they think about security after the fact. But to use the FileMaker Cloud, we have to get security going on the front end. Let's set our password. So the username is admin. I'm going to use a password of 1234, which is highly secure. And I'm going to say set password. And next it says the Roadrunner CRM will be closed before proceeding with the upload. I hit OK. So it's closed the file here and then popped this dialog here, which says upload to FileMaker server. So here we have a list of my favorite hosts. Some of my hosts are internal servers, things like that. Now here's the thing. I already had my FileMaker server listed as a favorite host, odds are you probably won't have that in here. So you have two ways of proceeding here. You can come down here to host address and type in or copy paste in here the name of your FileMaker cloud. Or the alternative is to go ahead and cancel this and say file, open remote, add a link to your FileMaker cloud instance. I'm gonna press the plus button right here and this is where you would add the server. Now, in your case, it's going to be something like roadrunner.fmi.filemaker-cloud.com. Now, by default, you're going to have some sort of address where it'll be your name or your organization name or your server name here. And on the right side right here will be this domain of the FileMaker Cloud. So just keep in mind that it should look something like this. And then uh, you can hit save and it's up here. So it's been added to the list. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna go back into my Roadrunner trucking. Of course, now I have a password that's been added to it. I open it up and we go through the process one more time. We say share, upload to FileMaker server. Proceed. Now we can identify the server we wanna to upload to. Now, there is no Roadrunner trucking for the point of this demo. We're going to use our test server that we have right here. And then I'm going to put in my username and password, and I'm gonna hit next. And it's reached out, it's talked to the server, it says the file's ready to upload, it looks good, and it's going to open the databases after we upload. So we say upload, we go through this process. So we get this message right here, which is a little bit cryptic. File was uploaded successfully. If it isn't open, ask a server administrator to open it. And you go like, I don't understand, I told it to open automatically. Well, that gets into an interesting area. Using the FileMaker Cloud requires that all the security settings be enabled on a FileMaker file. One of the security issues you need to keep in mind is the idea of encryption at rest. FileMaker has the ability to encrypt a file that's sitting on your computer. This is different than the encryption that occurs going across the internet. This is just the file itself being encrypted as it sits on your computer. We talk about this a great deal in our FileMaker Pro video training course. That being said, this file has to be encrypted before it can be hosted by FileMaker Cloud. Now the good news for us is that if we bring up our FileMaker Cloud administrative console, I can set login, I can go to databases, 
And here we can see all the databases that we have installed. Now there is a little color coded icon here on the left. There's a blue color here that says open. So the blue color here indicates that it's open. The gray indicates that it is closed. And so what I can do is I can tell the FileMaker Cloud server to open the file. And what happens is, is that FileMaker Cloud sees that the file is not encrypted. This encryption at rest or ear encryption is not enabled. And so what Cloud is going to do is that before it hosts it for us, it's going to encrypt the file. So that way as the file sits on the server up in the cloud, it's encrypted. So it's protected. So I could put in a password 1234 again and look what happens. It tells us that we actually have to have a real password with letters and numbers, etc. So I'm going to say A1234567 and an exclamation point. And it likes that, so I'm going to do the same thing, capital A. And then this right here, you can check off so in the future, FileMaker Cloud Server will be able to open this file itself. By default, the FileMaker Cloud Server cannot open an encrypted file unless you provide it the credentials here. So by checking this, it's going to remember this setting in the future. If you don't check it, then when you want to reopen this file up, it's going to prompt you for this encryption key, as they refer to it. It's a password, but frequently you'll hear people refer to it as a key. So I'm going to hit OK. A little bit red there while it's opening, it's encrypting it, and then it's up. So now it's encrypted and it's running. And it's available if I want to access it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Open Remote. I'm going to identify our test server that we have here, and then we can see that we have Roadrunner CRM right here. I can go ahead and press open, and it's going to ask us for our username and password. Now, this is not the encryption at rest password. This is the basic admin 1234 that we set up earlier. So really, you're going to end up dealing with two levels of passwords when you start to use encryption at rest. So I recommend that you check out our pro training where we talk about encryption at rest or the ear encryption. But that covers the upload process and as you can see we are successful. So I'll catch you in the next video.